Well, hello everybody. It's beginning to look a lot like Thanksgiving in my sunroom. My Thanksgiving cactus is starting to bloom out. Actually, this one and the three other ones are starting to bloom. So I kind of wanted to just give you all a quick update on what this is looking like. Um, by the time this gets done blooming, it's going to be magnificent. But I thought I would just kind of give you a an overview of all of the buds on this one. This is just breathtaking to look at. The color of this is such a brilliant scarlet. Um, I've had several of you ask me what my Thanksgiving cacti are growing in, what type of soil. Um, I repotted them in just regular miracle Grow potting soil. Not the ones for cacti, just the regular potting soil. Um, I'm using the fertilizer that I'm using on my orchids. Actually, what I do is when I drain my orchids, that's what I use to fertilize and water my Thanksgiving cacti. So that's why they look so beautiful. I also use Epsoma garden lime on these, especially when I see the new leaf starting to appear. I apply it and then I applied it just a few days ago. So probably about two or three times a year, I'm adding, oh, about a half of a teaspoon of Epsoma garden lime. It keeps my plants pretty and green. Used to, they had a purplish tinge to them. I believe that was due to magnesium deficiency. And the new growths are very, very strong as well. And of course, that's due to a lot of calcium that I'm feeding them. So. That's my update on what I'm doing with them and the type of soil that they're growing in. And here's a close-up of my other red Thanksgiving cactus. This is a different type. The leaves on this one are not as large as on the um, other one that I just showed you. And as you see, this one is growing actually pretty large itself. It's just a different kind. It's a different red. This is a true Christmas red and it, right in here it looks hot pink. It's very beautiful little bloom up close. So um, many of you have asked me when do I cut these back? I cut these back in the spring before the segments, the new segments start growing. What I try to do is I try to keep them as compact as I can because what happens if they get too large, if a segment grows too long, what will happen is it will tend to just fall off the plant just due to the weight of the plant. So if you're feeding them enough calcium, if they're getting enough magnesium and they're still losing segments, it's probably just due to the weight of the branches because these are very heavy. Um, when you cut them, you can tell that the segments are they are heavy, so you don't want all that weight, especially centrally located in one part of your plant. So I try to keep them trimmed back and as compact as possible. And I think I did my best job of trimming this one this last time. This is my pink Thanksgiving cactus. And I trimmed it, I gave the cuttings to some friends of mine who are now thrilled that they have a pink Thanksgiving cactus. And as you see, um, I trimmed this one pretty evenly. It's, it's pretty much compact all the way around. And here's the white one, and I did not do such a good job of keeping this one even this time. This part, this part of the plant should have been, um, I should have cut this leg right here. That would have actually made a very nice start to a plant, but I think that this was on the back side of the plant when I was trimming it, so I should have been turning it around to make sure that I was getting a nice even trim over the entire plant. And you know, you'll, you'll be amazed when you trim these plants. They do stay more compact. Large segments of them don't fall off of the plant, and your friends will be very, very happy to have cuttings. Everyone that I've offered mine to, they're like, yes, we'll take them. And then I get to see pictures of them the next year, so it's really, really neat. 
And of course, the one that takes me the longest to trim back is this huge red Thanksgiving cactus. Um, I take my time and I keep turning the plant around and looking at it from different angles. It's almost like cutting hair. That's exactly what it's like. You just want to make sure that you keep it even and that there's no really, really long segments that are going to um, fall off or like if you let them grow too large, you're going to notice that they turn woody and heavy and that will cause them to fall off the plant. So several of you have asked me the specifics about when I trim and what I root my trimmings in. I trim them probably about April or May. Like I said, before the new leaves form is the preferable time. And um, then what I do is I just, I root mine in water. And they root in about two weeks and then you can go ahead and put them into soil. Like I said, I just used miracle Grow regular potting soil and from what everyone tells me that has my cuttings, they are doing great, they're thriving, and most of them are already blooming this year from the trimmings that I took this past spring. And just a reminder to keep in mind all the time is after you water or fertilize, make sure that you drain the dishes underneath your plants. If you let these delicate roots set in water after they're repotted like this, they will rot. So just make sure that you're draining the water away from your plants. Or my sister lost one one year from it and she was not very happy about that. So I try to keep reminding everyone, drain the bottoms of your pots after you water your, your holiday cacti. And of course, as they bloom out, I will be doing updates. If you all have any questions, just um, leave them in the comment section below. You all just have a highly favored, deeply loved, greatly blessed kind of a day. And we will talk to you all next time.